Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Twin Cities. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sobalski. Minnesota's kicking off the first of an extended home stretch here, Ray. Everybody loves playing at home. You have a little more confidence. You feel a little better. You get support when things go well. Too long a home stand's not good. I think this one's just about right. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The Avs start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a chance. Here he is, wristed on net, and he gets a paddle on that one. Sends it in on the attack. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Off a stick. Puck scooped up by Zuccarello. Shot! He scores! But not long after they sat down to the end of the back up. That's the whole point of this thing, isn't it? If you were home, you want it to be a bit of a party. Early on, they've got the game's first goal. Oh, what an effort. He did everything he could to stop that. But he gets beat anyway. The Wild have got themselves back to center ice. Wow. This place explodes here in the first minute, the first goal. Everybody's on their feet with something to celebrate. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Moves it on over to Zucker. Time of the goal, 43 seconds. Moves right to the middle. There's a shot denied by the blocker. Up along the wing. Handles the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Can't get it to go. And that's taken by the defense. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Directed over to Zucker. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Colorado's across the blue line. Moves it over to Fiala. Koivu's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a shot! Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And now he tries to get it across to Koivu. Taken by Girard. He carries the puck up along the wing. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Quick pass across to Parisi. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Puck moved over to Jost. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Kadri. Some great thievery in the open ice. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Colorado sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 1-0 the score. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado's got it behind the net. Slides the pass over to Donskoy. Nice pass. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Puts it on net. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Handles it along the blue line. Big time stop. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass to Donskoy. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Works it across to Donskoy. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Here he is in close. Off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. Ah, that's got to hurt. I don't care how much equipment you have or how good the mask is, that thing's coming 80 plus miles an hour. That's gotta hurt. 
The Avs have had their opportunities here in this first period, but are still trailing. Minnesota's won the faceoff deep in their own end and manages to clear the zone. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Landeskog's got it into offensive territory. Picked up along the wall by Kadri. With some momentum driving towards the net, Dubnik's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Colorado's had the scoring opportunities, but they still trail here in the first. Donato's won it off the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Spurgeon. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Burakovsky. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Delay a game penalty here for putting the puck over the glass. That's going to be one of the toughest penalties to take, right? Certainly one of the most embarrassing. I mean, James, he just shot it 11 feet in the air. He's just trying wow. to shoot it off the glass, man. He's a pro player. He should be able to do that. Face off with a five on three power play, but not much time to work with. Face off win, quick puck movement, quick shot. You don't have much time on the five on three. That's your script. 14 seconds. Colorado's still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Here's a blast! And he puts that one aside with ease. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Dialed in on that stop. Colorado's got the lead in shots. Nevertheless, they still trail here in the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes wide. The Wild have the puck while under man and manages to clear the zone. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Carries it across the line. Back to the point it goes. And they can't connect. Moves it quickly over to Koibu. Here's a shot and puts it right over the crossbar. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Stick saved by the goaltender. Colorado's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Traps that puck tight into his chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Colorado's still down here in the first, despite the multiple scoring opportunities. McKinnon's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone and makes the save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Moved out in Whoa. front! He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. You do a nice job there. He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads this team in goals. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Avalanche have the puck in the open ice. 
Here's a short pass to Wilson. Great chance in front. He scores! What a goal! Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Colorado's got the one goal lead here in the opening frame. Better to be ahead than behind, and the coaches are telling them that they want more aggression. They want them to play more in the offensive zone. And now it's over to Nieto. Picked off in the open ice. Minnesota's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Well, after that hit, he's slowly working his way to the bench. He is not feeling very good. Turns it away. Stahl's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Colorado's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Comfers won the faceoff. Puck picked up by Zadorov. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes that pass back at the point. And he says no! And now it's grabbed by Zuccarello. The Avs take possession in the neutral zone. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Donskoy. Hunt's got it in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. Zucker's got it along the wing. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Carries it in. Takes the feed. And now he moves it to Greenway. Moves it around along the half wall. Let's it fly. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Colorado's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Rantanen's got it across the line. Big time defensive play. Hartman's got it in the offensive zone. And now he angles it across to Donato. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Dumps it in. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Stopped by the blocker. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Into the corner now. Blocker save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Big hit. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Fialo's carrying it ahead. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Moves the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Snaps one here in the slot. Blocked in traffic. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Here's a howitzer at the net, and that one's turned away. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Hooking's the call. This is what they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but really the problem is you're beat, and you panic, and you're trying to help, and the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. Now a quick pass to Jost. Knocked away. Pass back to the point. With possession along the wall. Let's it go. And he gets his glove out to stop the pinball shot. Colorado's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. Joe 
Just won the draw here in the offensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Denied by the blocker. No, he, he scores! He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal! I always thought playing goal was tough. Now you gotta stop your own guys, too? some breathing room now with two-thirds of this opening frame played through they lead by two you can use all of your bench now you've got a couple of goal lead but don't back off still stay aggressive wax it into the offensive zone slides the puck over brings the puck into the offensive end now moves the puck along the half wall moves it to Kadri here's a chance and it's in he scores gets his own rebound and makes it count! Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. The Avs came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. Kunin's won the draw. Scored by number 95, Andre Fires it into the offensive zone. Number Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Number six, Eric Johnson. Time of the goal. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got control of the puck, and now he tries to get it across to Polino. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Slides it across to Polino. Here they come on the attack. Makes the save. Colorado's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Kamenev's got the puck. Quick feed to Nieto. The Avalanche have the puck on the attack. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Colorado's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. And it's a quick pass to Hartman. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one stopped. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Colorado's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Over the line they come. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Now forcing it a little bit. There's no need to when you got the lead. Takes the pass from the boards. Centering pass. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Quick pass to Jost. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Dubnik's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. The Avs have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. Stalls won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Zuccarello's got it on the offensive end. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. And now it's over to Johnson. Here's a shot, gets in front of it. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Zucker. Takes the feed. Shot, and he comes up with it. Moves it quickly over to Zucker. Receives the pass. Move to the middle, right in the slot. Oh, what a glove save. Colorado's off. 
offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Right in front with the shot! And that's blocked away. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck grab by Spurgeon. Spurgeon's got it against the boards. Here's a short pass to Brodeen. Scoops up the puck in front of the net, trying to clear the zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. And now he moves it to Koivu. Great pass from off the right side. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Dumps it into the Ozone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Takes it across the blue line. They've got numbers. Koivu's got it along the boards. What a steal in his own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he slides it quickly to Kamenev. Right to the middle, and they can't connect with the stop. Smothered that in close chance. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took, I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it, and then all of a sudden you see the guy go down and you're just like, ah, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Minnesota penalty. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Time of the penalty, 19 minutes. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Hartman. And he makes the save. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Knocked away. Moves it to Jost. Carries it across the line. And now he moves it quickly to Kadri. Pass right on the doorstep. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's the chance to get it out. Gotta be sure. Get it out. And there she blows, the horn sounds. That'll do it for this period number one. The offensive fireworks in full display after 20 minutes, we've got a 4-1 game. Fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on, FSB 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Colorado's man advantage is still intact as this period gets underway and they win the draw. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Handles the puck at the point. Minnesota's got possession while undermanned. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Carries it in. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he angles it across to Landeskog. Through center along the wing. Throws it in. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Gerard's going to play it against the half wall. Puts it on net. Turns it aside. Takes the pass. Back at the point, they set it up. Turns him away. The Avs continue to lead big here in this second period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Stahl. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Puts it on net and makes the save. Colorado's been
been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Koibu's won the draw. Quick feed to wow. Parisi. Scores! Now it's a two-ball game. quick the puck hits the ice and in a second and a half it's in the net face off win one timer nobody catches up to the puck minnesota still trailing in this one but it's a little bit closer now a little bit better and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game Puck scooped up by Brodeen. And now it's over to Koivu. Sends a pass over. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Slides the puck ahead to Zucker. Wrist one in front. Easily turned away by the glove. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Colorado's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Calvert. Comes up with a stop. And now he moves it to Comper. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Minnesota's done a great job without the puck. Nice pick off there. This game's close because of it. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Here's a chance, right in the slot! And that's broken up with a stick in front. Calvert swooping in on the attack. Calvert's got it along the wing. And now he angles it across to Comper. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Comes up with a stop. Colorado's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Quick pass to Hartman. Moves it around along the half wall. And now he tries to get it across. There's a nasty slash that'll get some attention. Yeah, it should. It looked like he's chopping wood. Wilson's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Minnesota sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here at this man advantage. Handles the puck. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Taken by Zadorov. Sent into the offensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Nice pass. Koivu's got it in the offensive zone. Saucer feed. Suter's got it in the corner. Grabs the puck as they try to escape the blaze. And manages to clear the zone. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Zucker's picking up steam. Puck picked up by Stahl. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. Great hit on the play. Picked up along the boards by Stahl. Gets it out of his own end. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Stahl's got it into offensive territory. Snaps it on net. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Cole's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's over to Koibu. 
slides it back to the blue line. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And manages to clear the zone. Grabbed along the board by Spurgeon. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. And there it is! The double G! The great love save! Colorado's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. Moves it quickly over to Gerard. Back to the blue line. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. Centering pass! And it's in! He scores! Uh, the release beats the goalie here, but there's a good break too as the puck hits the post and goes in. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. The Avalanche have continued to pour it on here in this second period, Ray. Doesn't seem to be any way to stop them. They've stretched this lead out, and it looks right, like it is an easy walk home. Takes the feet at the back end. Number 92, Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Eric Johnson. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. And now he moves it to Kunin. Huge steal in his own end. It's hard not to take a chance when you're behind in the game. He turns that puck over, trying to make something out of nothing. The Avs have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Setters jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Centering pass! Snaps one from the slot. Oh, a clutch save! Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the puck along the boards. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Maintains possession. Colorado's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Here they come on the attack. With possession along the wall. Nice poke check. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Passes on over to Dumba. Feeds it to Greenway. Greenway's got it deep in the offensive end. Moved in front. Huge stick save by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. On the attack along the boards. And that one's broken up. Knocked away. Zuccarello stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with the steal. He's got a step. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Picked up along the wall by Dumba. Stahl's got it across the line. Here's a shot just wide of the net. Sends the pass down low. And that's broken up. Landis has got it along the boards. Here's a chance right in front. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Sends the pass over. Zucker's moving it ahead. With the stop. Here's a chance. Another stop by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Drives it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. McKinnon's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. And now he angles it across to Fiala. Here's a shot. Oh, Ray, I'm sure he's going to be shaking his head over that one. Yeah, you just don't get many of them. And when you do get a chance, you want to put it on target. Let's the wrister fly. And that goes wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. From one end of the blue line to the other. And that one's broken up. Net knocked off this morning. We got a whistle here stopping the play. It's been a great night for him. He's got two goals already. But you know he'd love to pull a hat trick out of him. See if he can get a third one. Is the third the easiest or the hardest? 
Oh, it's the hardest for sure. You, who knows if we're going to get another another chance in a game. And now he tries to get it across to Donskoy. Comfer's got the puck, and he slides it quickly to Johnson. And he comes up with the save. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Foligno's getting two for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. And they'll dump it in. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Frank Cruz is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Colorado's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. Takes the feed. And now it's over to Coonan. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pulls the puck at the line. Scooped up along the wall by Coonan. Moves the puck up to Burakovsky. And that one's stolen at center ice. Dishes it to Koivu. Dished on over to Spurgeon. Right in front of the net. And that's picked off. Scores! The power play cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. That's a good play. It's a goal scorer's play. You shoot the puck and follow your shot. He gets a little lucky that it comes right back to him, but he makes no mistake. The Avalanche have been on fire since the drop of the puck in the start of this game. If this was a boxing match, the towel would be coming flying out of the corner. This seems over. Minnesota's got the puck. Takes it from the right side. Picks off the pass. And that's taken by the defense. That's got to be delivered a little quicker. Nice play by the defensive team. Great hit on the play. Puck grab by McKinnon. He's got the puck on his stick again in the offensive zone where he seems to have been all night. He's looking for his third. He wants a Hattie now. Now a quick pass to Koibu. Takes the feed at the point. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Along the half wall with the puck. Hammers it! Beautiful glove stop on that one. Well, he's got two. You think he can get three? He's never had that in the game before. The Avs have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Donato's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And the gloves are off. Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. there and that'll pretty much do it yeah that's not going to go to the judges there's not been much that's gone right for them tonight they're getting blown out here maybe this fight can spark a little energy it's just trying to get something going here that's about it got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Minnesota's got it now. And there's the save. Frank 
Kuz only gets a little piece of this, but it turns out to be enough as that keeps the puck in front of the goal line. Colorado's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Angles it over to Nieto. Moved into the middle, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. And way too much air from the point. You're not going to have many friends in the forward group if you shoot the puck over top of the net from the blue line. Colorado's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively as they lead big here late in the second. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Denied by the goaltender. Colorado's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Stalls won it off the faceoff and tries to make a diagonal pass to Gerard. And that's picked off in front. And now he moves it to Zuccarello. Sends it over. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves behind the net. Here we go on the wraparound. That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As if that looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Slides the puck to Calvert. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Slides the puck over. Puts it on net. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! The Avs with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Moves it to Burakovsky. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Takes the feed. Let's it go and makes the save. Colorado's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Jost. Picked off in the open ice. Puck scooped up by Cole. And now he tries to get it across to Cole. Taken by Cole. And that one flies over the net. Koivu's gaining momentum. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Now over to Kadri. Let's it fly. And that one's turned away. Colorado's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed and bid upon at the display near the guest services counter. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Colorado's been working on their power play the last couple of weeks. They've really focused on getting the puck to the net. 
using the middle guy of the ice. They've done a terrific job scoring tonight. And it's a quick pass to Zucker. Zuccarello got it against the boards. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. McKinnon's going to play it against the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Zucker. Here they are on the attack. Here's a shot! Makes the save! Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looks like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. Colorado's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Koivu's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Puts it on net, easily turned away by the goaltender. And he came out and challenged a good save. Colorado's on total cruise control early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shuts him down. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Colorado's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities and they lead it big time early in the third. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick feed to Fiala. Right up front and that one's broken up. Burakowski's carrying it ahead. And now it's over to Cole. Knocked away. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Colorado's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Great reflexes, another save. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Quick pass to Donskoy. Donskoy's got the puck along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Greenway. Over the line they come. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. The Avs have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Feeds it over to Hunt. Tries to get the puck over to Erickson Eck. Slides the puck across to Greenway. And a great heads-up defensive play here. From the slot, denies him in front. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Colorado's on total cruise control early in this third period. Stalls won a big draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Dumba. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Zucker. Gets in front of it. Gerard's moving the puck through his own zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Colorado's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Gerard. Shot, takes the shot, that's tipped in front with the stop. Quick glove hand here, he gets the glove out to make the stop. Colorado's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Takes it across the blue line. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Gets the puck in deep. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to stall. Slides that one right across the blue line. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. 
up along the wing. Quick feed to McKinnon. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And now he moves it to Kunin. Right out front. Here he is on the backhand. Turned aside by the goaltender. Into the offensive end now. And now he angles it across to Cole. Comes up with a big stop. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumped in and they'll go off. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Puck picked up by Johnson. Dumps it in. Colorado's got it from behind the net. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. And we've got a two-on-one. And he makes the save. Handles it along the blue line. And now it's over to Jost. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Brodine's got it along the wing. Big save by the goaltender. Poked away. Colorado showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Centering pass. Here's a chance on the doorstep and a great save. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Fialo's got it in the offensive zone. Comes up with the steal. Puts it in deep. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Parisi. Take it along the wall by Barbario. Gaining momentum up along the side. Musa quickly over to Barbario. Big save. With the steal. Tries to get it over to Greenway. And he slides it quickly to Greenway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Greenway. Move to the middle. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Stopped by the goaltender. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Stahl. And now he moves it to Nieto. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. When you're ahead, you've got to make a safe play here. Get it behind the net. Floats it right onto the tape. And a he scores! These are the most fun to score. It's a little bit of ego to beat the goaltender up over the glove. Minnesota's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Donskoy. Oh, comes up with the stop. Feeds it down low. Quick snap. Stones him in front. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Colorado's offense has been the story tonight. Leading big time here in this third period. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck and makes the save. Big stop by the keeper. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Flips it up the net, comes up with the stop. Well positioned save, and he has the rebound over in the corner. Moves across the point. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot, and that clangs off the iron. Quick feed to Hunt. Grabs control of it at the point. Quick pass to Suter. Here's an odd man rush. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Feeds the puck to Cole. Cole's got it on the offensive end. Burakovsky's going to play it to the corner. 
Now a quick pass to Johnson. Trying to shake the defender. He's in. All alone. Oh, what a save. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Joseph's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Cole. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Polino's got it behind the net. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Carries it across the line. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Right on the doorstep. Hammers it on net. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Colorado's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Picked up along the boards by Suter, and he gives it over to Fiala. Receives the pass, puts it on net, wide of the net. Quick pass over to Rantanen. And he gains the zone here. He grabs the puck here at the point. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Here's a chance. Fires it, comes up with the stop. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Carries it in. Moves the puck more to the middle. And that goes off a player in front. Grabbed along the boards by Suter. Takes the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Back on a stick now. Tries to feed it over to Landeskog. Let's one go. Denies him on the play. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Wilson. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Stays with it. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. And he serves it across to Greenway. Slides it across, and that's blocked. And now it's grabbed by Jost. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Glides along the blue line. Shot right in front, off target. Minnesota's night has been summed up right there. A missed chance here late in the third period. They've only got themselves to blame. Locked in on that last opportunity there. And now he angles it across to Burakovsky. Sends a pass over, moves it to Burakovsky. Sends it in deep. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Greenway in the third period. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Quick pass across to Barbario. Intercepts the pass with the stop. Colorado's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Puck grabbed by Patterson, and he misses. That's a really good scoring opportunity that the goalie doesn't even have to make a save on. And that one's broken up. We got a stoppage here in play as the net gets knocked off. Colorado's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Stalls won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Zucker's swooping in on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Pattern. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. I don't mind the turnover so much when you're trying to catch up in a game. You have to take a chance. And another stop! Colorado's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Comfers won the draw. Puck scooped up by Cole. Centered out in front, and that's picked off in front. Tosses it on to Zucker. Quick feed to Hunt. And now it's over to Zucker. 
and that's intercepted. Here he is in the open ice, on the breakaway! Great save! Oh, I thought he was gonna beat him, but the goalie comes up large. That's all she wrote from this one. Well, you look at the final stats here, James, and they had more shots on goal. They had a very comfortable lead. It seemed like they had the puck and the game in control most of the night. They looked like a firing squad out there, and the difference was they converted on many of those. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.